Sky. In this lesson, we're going to talk about type guards. First, let's make a variable. Let's call it my variable. And let's say that our variable will have any type. Now, uh, we want to check if our variable at some point of time can be a string or maybe number or some other basic or complex type in TypeScript. We can do that by using if statement and inside our if statement we're going to ask if our variable is type of string inside this statement we're going to use three equal signs to check if uh, this is true and this is known as type guard and means that the type of my variable will be treated as a string inside this if statements block. So inside our if statements block, after checking that our variable is a string, the same variable will be treated as a string. So we could say for example that my variable is equal to a new string which will be for example this is a string this is a string okay similarly to that we can define another if statement with similar checking if our variable is now a number and if our variable is now a number inside this if code block it will be treated as an integer so as a number this is known as type guard so let's say that our variable is now treated as a number so we could assign to our variable value 1. Also in your code you will have situations when your variable will not be the variable of any type but it can be a variable of the union of types for example your variable can be the union of string or number or boolean type or and so on here I'm pointing uh, just simple types uh, you can use the union of some complex types but it doesn't matter for now and for this video and this lesson so in this lesson we talked about type guard and that means that uh, our variable uh, w was treated as a string in this code block or a number in this code block that's all in this lesson thanks for watching see you in the next video